for this one is non sanctioned unified world heavyweight title by Frank Morales, the referee, the combatants, Jerry Lawler, Randy Savage. One ball, 60 minutes in time. Boy, these two, when they hook up every time, it's a well of a bout. We expect none but the same. Once again, the Macho Man and the King as they go at it at the Mid-South Coliseum in the case. Man Randy Savage with comments, and we're finally underway. Lawler, Ronald Ray, and he and Savage get underway for this unified world heavyweight title bout. We're a minute into it now, 60 minutes in time. Throws him right over the top ropes in there. Rams him into the cage. Macho man right into the cage as Lawler throws him in. <laughs> Lawler and Savage. One ball, 60 minutes in time. Sanctioned by the USWA or the World Wrestling Federation. Non sanctioned bout for the unified world heavyweight title. Oh, look at Savage. He immediately busts his lawler with a couple of big right hands. Who's the king into the turnbuckle? Bust him in. And look at Lawler. Comes out with big right hands of his own. To the Macho Man. Lills him right in the midsection with a big right hand. Flips him over, does Lawler. Drops on him. King with a big right hand. And the Macho Man goes for the gate over there, but there's no way out, Randy. I hate to inform you. Savage trying to find his way out of there, but there is no way out. Locked in the steel cage for the unified world heavyweight title. Jerry the King Lawler, Macho Man, Randy Savage. Savage the challenger out of Sarasota, Florida. The King, Jerry Lawler, the champion. Actually, not of Memphis, Tennessee on Savage. Kicks at the king and uh, misses. Yeah. <laughs> Lawler stands in and go after Savage. And Savage jumps right out of the ring onto the apron, leaps back in. King and Macho Man. the turnbuckle. Oh, boy, he busts his lawler with a right. Ooh, a big move. Knocks the king now. Shogun lawler, referee Frank Morrell warns him. Fowler has to break that chokehold on the king. And Savage with an elbow. Drops it down in the throat of Lawler. Picks him up and then, oh, Lawler reverses it. And Savage right into the cage. The King. Going after Savage. Right into the other side. 
Rich goes the macho man. Savage. Boy, when this guy 
guy gets on, there's hardly no one to turn him off because he just goes crazy. Now, let me tell you that. He's got a lot of cut open, too. Buster Sherry with a right hand. Savage outside of the ring, and he's working on Lawler. Uh, Frank Morrell warns him to break it, and he finally gives up on the hole, jumps back in the ring, but not until he's got Lawler's head busted open. And has rammed the king into the ring post twice. Ron Savage buses Lawler on the right hand. like a pretty, pretty long cut to it. It's right up above there's right eye in there. And Seven fusses him again with another right hand. Lord, in the ring! There's Savage on the top rope! He's up there on the top one. Lawler staggering. Savage comes down on it. Man, oh man. Hey, Savage. Rolls him up, too. Oh, Jerry gets his front arm out of rope. Look at this, Savage. Rolled up both of his legs in there. And Savage threatening to now referee Frank Morrell now. Stomps away on that king. Twelve and a half minutes in the unified world heavyweight title bout between Lawler and Savage. Savage, another right hand, he busts the king. Stumps right in the midsection of Lawler. Savage comes out off the ring apron, drops a double farm on the king. Puts him up against the steel cage. He's got Lawler's face. Smashed right into the cage here. Right into that steel cage. Savage. Going at it again. Frank Morrell, referee, wanted him doing the count on him. And Savage just breaks the count in time and continues. So jump on all. into the turnbuckle. Oh, Lawler, he's going after Randy Savage now. He's got the macho man. Frank Morrell telling him, hey, you can't do it, Jerry. Lawler not listening. Oh! Oh! Oh, the macho man and poses him. from under the turnbuckle as Lawler. He's got him set in the middle of the ring. The King on the middle rope now. Savage is out. Lawler ducks down with a right hand on Savage. He may have him here now. Savage is out of it. He rolls up. Lawler climbs. What's it? Jerry, that 
Oh, sensational. Sherry Lawler is on the ropes. That's Sherry Martell. She's climbing that steel cage, Sherry. Martell got over the thing some kind of way and gets in the cage. How in the world? Sherry Martell just climbed the cage, comes down, and nails Lawler from behind. Referee Frank Morrell is going to call for the bell. A sensational Sherry Martell kicks away on Jerry Lawler. Look at Martell, boy, interfering in the unified world title bout. Jumps over the steel cage, climbs the cage, jumps over the top. And she is going to work on the king. Sherry Martell interfering in 1548. And she's got Lawler there now. Oh, boy. Kick Jerry right below the bell in the groin area. Sherry Martell, this lady, let me tell you, you can't have any respect for her at all. She is just absolutely obnoxious, let me tell you. After beating up on Lawler, Kid Savage, and he goes to work on the king. And Sherry Martell comes back in the ring now, Alice Martell, and busses Laura with a right fist. Savage just nailed referee Frank Morrell. He clobbered Frank and Sherry Martell now. Jump on the king in 15 minutes, 48 seconds. Referee Frank Morrell stops the unified world title bout. Martell once again, right below the belt to Lawler after Savage pulls them and all. Martell adds up two cents in it. Randy Savage. You forgot it's a steel cage up there, Sherry. She goes to climb it. It's going to be a little too late, though. The king grabs a oh, 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 to Sherry Martell. Rips the top off of Martell. She's climbing the cage, trying to get out of there. Lawler's right behind her. Savage jumps in from behind. There goes Martell. She leaps over and hightails it out of here. Frank Morrell still calling for the bell in 1548. Disqualification on Sherry Martell on Randy Savage for Sherry Martell interfering in there. Oh, there goes Randy Savage out of the ring. Out of this match by pinfall or by being handcuffed to one of the sets of handcuffs in the ring. The, the team with a member remaining at the end of the match gets to handcuff his teammates. They get five minutes in the ring with the opposing team still handcuffed. Anything goes, no referee. Professional wrestling. I'm Michael St. John at the world famous Sportatorium in Dallas, Texas. And the teams are locking horns already. Superstar Bill Dundee and gorgeous Gary Young have just handcuffed the Austin awesome Kong already. On one team, Gary Young, Bill Dundee, Billy Joe Travis, Jeff Jarrett, and Danny Davis. On the other team, stunning Steve.
Austin, Dr. Don Richard El Grande Piscalero, flamboyant Eric Embry, and the man already handcuffed, Awesome Kong. The way a man is eliminated is being by is by being cuffed to one of the sets of handcuffs or by being pinned and then cuffed. The team that has a member remaining after it's all over, said and done with, gets the key, gets to unlock his teammates, and then that team gets five minutes with the other team still handcuffed. And there you see the lock on the door. And flamboyant Eric Embry rammed into the cage. The action is wild. The action is brutal in this match. You will see a lot of blood spill because these men are being rammed into the steel cage that surrounds the ring. Surrounding the ring, nine sets of handcuffs. One man will remain when all is said and done. The action speaking for itself. There you see El Grande Pistolero has been handcuffed. El Grande Pistolero has been handcuffed. So now, two members of Eric Embry's team. Here comes Billy Gonzalez. He's going to nail Dr. Tom Pritchard, who has been lacerated in this one. Stunning Steve Austin showing some blood as these men have been pounded into the steel cage using the cage as a weapon. Jeff Jarrett being gouged by Eric Embry across the way. There you see Kong handcuffed. Embry being punched by superstar Bill Dundee. Eric Embry fixing to be cuffed, I believe, but no, he escapes that. There you see El Grande Pistolero shaking the, the still cage here. Great side Dundee bringing Pistolero down on the rope. Gorgeous Gary Young just thrown into the cage. Several men are already injured in this match. This match is a very brutal affair because of the, the action. Dundee almost handcuffed that time. Jarrett showing the wares of this match after being thrown into the vents. He and Tom Pritchard have locked up. Jeff Jarrett rammed again into this cage. Danny Davis has been busted open. Look at this match. Look at every man in there, I believe, right now is suffering from some kind of blow or some kind of injury. Gorgeous Gary Young has been opened up. Oh, my goodness. I do not believe what I am seeing. It has been called the most brutal match in wrestling. Jeff Jarrett being pounded on the head by El Grande Pistolero. Pistolero is handcuffed, but he has still got Jarrett by the hair of the head. There's Danny Davis. Danny Davis has just been cuffed. So Danny Davis has been cuffed. It is now four against three with Embry, Pritchard, and Austin still remaining on his team, or their team, rather. Jeff Jarrett Dundee, gorgeous Gary Young, and Billy Joe Travis still remaining free. And now you see Billy Joe Travis pounded in to the steel cage. Superstar Bill Dundee. There's stunning Steve Austin being taken into the cage by gorgeous Gary Young. Dundee is the only man that has not been busted open in this one. The lacerations showing on the faces of the remaining participants. And now Bill Dundee has been handcuffed by Dr. Tom Pritchard in the corner. So it's three against three. Richard and Billy Joe Travis still enjoying freedom. Eric Embry, gorgeous Gary Young, Jeff Jarrett. Now it looks like someone's being handcuffed across the way, and it looks to be like stunning Steve Austin. Austin being cuffed, and indeed he is. So Steve Austin is cuffed. Now Jarrett going to work on Tom Richard right in the middle of the ring. Gorgeous Gary Young continues to just come it. The fist into the head of Austin. And now Jeff Jarrett taking Dr. Tom Pritchard into the fence again. Pritchard's over there. They're trying to cuff Jeff Jarrett. Pritchard trying to cuff Jarrett. 
Austin is tough, but he's still fighting back. Jeff Jarrett being pounded, and he has been cuffed. Jeff Jarrett is now locked up into the handcuffs. Remaining free are Billy Joe Travis and Dr. Tom Pritchard. Gorgeous Gary Young, and now Flamboyant Boy and Eric Embry have been cuffed. The fans responding as Embry has been cuffed. Now Pritchard turns his attention to Gary Young. Billy Joe Travis blinded by the blood in his face, being kicked out by Paul. Now Pritchard going to work and has cuffed gorgeous Gary Young, and the two remaining are Billy Joe Travis and Dr. Tom Pritchard. The one that remains uncuffed will get the key and will get to free his other teammate. They'll get five minutes in the ring with a referee and Pritchard. with the roll up Cal now breaking it up cuffed into the into the fence is Eric Embry breaking that pin in combination now Pritchard taking Travis over to be cuffed Jeff Jarrett over to help out Pritchard trying to cuff and does and does cuff Billy Joe Travis so Pritchard is the man remaining he'll get the key he gets to release his teammates. They get five minutes with the other team still cuffed. Wait a minute, Dundee has kicked Pritchard. Pritchard on the floor, waiting, dropped the key. Gorgeous Gary Young has got the key. Pritchard dropped the key. Gorgeous Gary Young is uncuffing himself. Gorgeous Gary's got the key. And now he's going to cuff Pritchard. What a turn of the match. Travis, he is just waiting for Eric Henry to come to his feet. 
Pistolero going after Danny Davis. Now Gary Young going after Eric Embry. It's everybody on everybody. Look at Billy Joe off the top rope on Eric. We have about 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds. In the five minute period, I'm sure, ending not a moment too soon for the team of Embry, Austin, Pistolero, Kahn, and Dr. Tom Pritchard. This has been a wild, bloody, and brutal affair. That's it. The time is up. So Jeff in 30 minutes takes it all. Representing the Smoky Mountain Thugs, Tracy Smothers, Jesse James Armstrong, Wildfire Tommy Rich, Dangerous Doug Gilbert, Coco Beware, your USWA is PG-13, Tex Lassinger, the Spellbinder, and Brian Christopher. Anything goes. Bring what you want to bring. Do what you want to bring. Do what you want to do. The action is obviously going to be wild and crazy. Referee Frank Morrell trying to get him started in here. J.C. Ice has been elected to start for the USWA. Jesse James Armstrong for the Smoky Mountain guys. Coco Beware has already squared off some, uh, giving some information to Brian Christopher. Doug Gilbert, Tommy Rich, Going through quite a change here in the USWA. Been a fan favorite for so long, and now all of a sudden uh, they've been having some problems here. Started with an uh, action between PG-13, uh, J.C. Eyes of PG-13, and Wildfire Tommy Rich. A situation where uh, a punch or two was exchanged originally by accident. And some feelings got hurt, and now this is what it's ended up being, ladies and gentlemen. J.C. Ice, Jesse James Armstrong getting ready to score off here in the marathon match. Referee Frank Morrell taking care of the inside. Joe Wheeler on the outside. And they're underway. Lock up collar and elbow. Oh, that's right. Use anything, do anything. A reminder, anything goes. Just reminded the USWA crowd here at the Gardens, this is anything goes. Do what you want to do. Bring what you want to bring. J.C. is taking the opportunity. You don't have the opportunity to blatantly pull the hair on a regular basis. This is the kind of match where you can do anything you want to do. Pulling the hair is the least of Jesse James's problem right now. Here the crowd giving J.C. some support. J.C. has got the cover. One, two. J.C. Ice just missing the pinfall, tagging Brian Christopher into the ring. Oh, and the big punch to the right eye of Jesse James Armstrong. Now one right between the eyes. The new age outlaw swinging blind there for a minute. Brian picking him back up by the hair. Again, totally allowed in this kind of match. Scoops him, the big body slam. He covers him, one, two, three. USWA has one fall. Lesnar into the ring now against Jesse James Armstrong, continuing the pummeling that Jesse has received from Brian and from J.C. Ice. Texas sizing him up. J.C. comes into the ring area but exits. Oh, and the big Texas right hand. It's got Jesse James reeling. What? Oh, wrong corner to be lost in. Hello. Boom. Spellbinder Brian Chris were taking an opportunity to part to Jesse James's hair. That will give you a cauliflower enter in a New York second. Jesse over to re get a little uh, support from Tracy and Coco. We're here in the cage, Louisville Gardens, Tuesday night. 
a lot of wild USW action marathon match. The team that wins the most falls in 30 minutes takes it all. Tex Schlesinger presently in the ring for the USWA against Jesse James. Oh, he's tagging in the wild eyes Southern boy, Tracy Smothers, comes into the ring area. At this time, the score is USWA 1, Smoky Mountain 0. But we're early into the 30 minutes. We've only gone about seven or so. The USWA crowd here at the Gardens giving some support to Tex Schlesinger. People loving the rafters. Go, Tex, go. Oh, Jesse James Armstrong took the opportunity to pull the Confederate flag across Texas back. He's been covered. One, two, three. That's one fall apiece. Tracy getting the fall on Tex Schlesinger. It's one up. Smoky Mountain USWA. The Smoky Mountain Thug calling for the knee of the wildfire and plants Texas forehead into it. Wildfire Tommy Rich throws Tex out onto the floor and into the cage right here in front of us. Oh! Plants the forehead across the steel bar. We're talking solid steel cage here, ladies and gentlemen. Tex Lazinger obviously reeling. Coco beware and puts the... He attempted to stick the... Uh, Steel chair into Texas ribs, missed by an inch, but he's coming up. Oh, everybody's into the ring now. This is cut loose a little bit. We got uh, Brian going against Jesse James in one corner. Coco hitting Tex with the chair. Jamie is chasing Doug Gilbert around. Wolfie's going after Tommy Ritz. The spellbinder has got Tracy Smothers. The action is just so fast and furious at all different points of this cage. It's hard to keep up with it all. Oh, Jesse James Armstrong sticking the boot. Oh, we got a cover in the ring. One, two, three. That's a fall for the USWA. Two to one. Brian Christopher trying to cover Doug Gilbert. One, two, three. And that's another fall for the USWA. Three to the Smoky Mountain one. We got another. All right, USWA got another score. It's four to one. Spellbinder with uh, Tracy Smothers. So what he did, plants the forehead of Coco Beware into the turnbuckle. Brian Christopher has got Doug Gilbert up here, stretched out on the top of the ring rope. Oh, the big fist into the gut. Wildfire Tommy Rich takes the chair over the top of Sir Wolfie D's head. At the count for Smoky Mountain, it's four to two. Ten minutes gone. It's four to three. But make it five to three. USWA taking the lead by two. That's another for the USWA. Six to three. Six to four. USWA still in the lead. Joe Wheeler can now take Schlesinger. That makes it six to five. USWA still in the lead in the marathon match. Jesse James taking a two-tech Schlesinger. Coco Beware getting ready to hit so will be deep. No, excuse me, that was Coco honing. Tracy Smothers to put it in. Spellbinder had it. Smoky Mountain gets another cover. Tommy Rich covering Brian Christopher is tied up. Say again. USWA gets it all in. All right, it's seven to six. Eight to six. No. Nope, that was seven to seven. My mistake. That's eight to seven. Nine to seven. Smoky Mountain has taken the lead. Nine to seven. We got a count out over here on the floor. It's nine to eight. Doug Gilbert suspended from the top of the cage. <laughs> Jesse James Armstrong taking the flag to a 
A catch up from where I'm at. We got another count for the USWA. It's not all. The Spellbinder trying to grab Doug Gilbert off the side of the cage. Tracy Smothers slamming Tex Lassager's head into the steel cage here. JCI stepping on top of, of uh, Jesse James Armstrong. He's over there laying on top of the Confederate flag. The Spellbinder plants the big fist into the side of dangerous Doug Gilbert. Coco Beware rolls up Brian Christopher. Is that USWA, Joe? Another one for the USWA. It's 10 to 9. Whoopi D. Blanton, the chair over the top of Doug Gilbert. Another one that says for the Smoky Mountain, right? It's 10 all. Another one that's for USWA. 11 to 10. The Spellbinder. He's got the chair. Brian Christopher plants the fist in the Coco Beware. Jesse James Armstrong is on top of the cage. Brian Christopher climbing up to try to get to him. Another one for USWA? All right. Another for Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain gets another one as well. USWA leads by one. We're into the second half of the match. We've passed the halfway point. Tommy Rich sticking the boot to Sir Whoopi D. Tex Lassinger. Oh, no, we've got another count out. USWA gets another one. 13 to 11. We're up by two. Tracy, J.C. Ice puts it across Wildfire Tommy Rich. Taking the flag, the pole to him. I got Whoopi. The action is literally in all points of this cage, ladies and gentlemen. It's so much action, it's hard to keep track of for you. Wildfire Tommy Rich receives the pile, excuse me, the DDT from the spell. There's another one for the USWA. 14 to 11. 15 to 11, USWA in the lead. So Wolfie D, the cowbell over Wildfire Tommy Rich's head. Tracy Smothers got J.C. Ice down. There's one for Smokey Mountain. Tracy Smothers, wild-eyed southern boy, planting the pole into the spellbinder. That's another one for Smoky Mountains. 15 to 13. Tracy Smothers. He loses the fight to J.C. Ice, who gets put across his chest. Spellbinder, the flip on top of Tracy Smothers. One, two, three. It's 16 to 13, USWA in the lead. Referee Joe Wheeler, Frank Morrell, trying to keep track. I got another count. USWA, Joe. All right, 17, 13, USWA. Again, the team with the most fouls in 30 wins it all. Smoky Mountains gets another one. 17-14. Jesse James Armstrong planting the chair over the top of Brian Christopher. That's one for the Smoky Mountains. 17-15. Wildfire Tommy Rich has got J.C. Ice there trading blows. Brian Christopher puts Coco B. Ware's head into the chain link. They got another fall for the Smoky Mountains. That's two falls. We're tied up 17 all. Ryan Christopher climbs to the top. He's coming off, puts the leg across Jesse James Armstrong, who's just suspended by the spellbinder. One, two, three. That's 18-17 USWA. The action wild here Tuesday night at the Gardens Marathon in a cage. 
We are down to 10 minutes, actually under 10 minutes left here at the Gardens in the Marathon match. The score is 19 pins apiece. The Smoky Mountain Thugs, consisting of Tra Tracy Smithers, Jesse James Armstrong, Walmart, Tommy Rich, Doug Gilbert, Coco Beware, taking on the USWA. The wrestlers in the ring, PG-13, Tex Schlesinger, Spellbinder, Brian Christopher. Any team to get one of the falls who gets count for it, it's right now the count is 19 falls apiece, and we are under the 10-minute mark here at the Gardens. Spellbinder kicking Jesse James Armstrong over the top rope with that reverse spinning savat kick. Tracy Smothers taking the pole, the Confederate flag pole, into the throat of all PG-13. We got another count. Another count for the Smoky Mountain takes the lead. 20 to 19. Doug Gilbert showing the signs of the steel cage with a trickle of a little blood off of his forehead. He's getting ready to put J.C. Ice into the... USWA gets another one. USWA gets two more and takes the lead. 21 to 20. USWA has the lead. We've got about seven minutes left in the match. Smoky Mountain gets another one. We're tied up 21 apiece. Tex Schlesinger puts the bell over the top of Tommy Wildfire Ridge and gets the tag. 22-21, USWA. Dangerous Doug Gilbert. He's got, he's got uh, J.C. Ice over here getting ready to put the chair, it would appear. He tunes up a little bit. Here. Oh, it cost him. J.C. Ice recovers, gets the chair over the head of the dangerous one. Again, anything goes in a marathon match. Spellbinder covers Tracy Smothers, one, two, three. USWA by two. Wildfire Tommy Rich has got the rope around Tex Schlesinger. Coco beware, squared off against the Spellbinder. Jesse James with the boot across Sir Whippy D's head. USWA, USWA gets another one. I'm doing the boot shooting buggy, dumbass. The boot scooting boogie, yeah. 24-21, USWA by three. USWA by four. We have got five minutes remaining. Five minutes. Smoky Mountains make the comeback. 25-22, USWA in the lead. Smoky Mountain gets two of them in a row for the Smoky Mountains. It's a one-point lead. No, we're tied up. Oh, my goodness, Smoky Mountains takes the lead, 26 to 25. Smoky Mountains again, 27 to 25. Brian Christopher gets one for the USWA. 27-26, Smoky Mountain. Super kick, Brian working on Tracy Smothers. Spellbinder working on Coco Beware. Tex Lessinger rolls up. Jesse James. USWA has tied it. 27 all. Which one was it? USWA takes the lead. J.C. Ice putting the hubcap to the throat of the Jesse James Armstrong. Dangerous duck. Oh, we got a count out right here in front. Smoky Mountains ties it back up. 28 all. Smoky Mountain takes the lead. 29, 28. Smoky Mountains. 30 to 28. Smoky Mountains. We have got four minutes left. Got another one from Smoky Mountains. 31 to 28. Smoky Mountains has a three-point lead. Oh, 
So Whoopi D goes outside, gets the chain. He's wrapping it up. Tracy Smothers to the eyes of JC Ice. Oh, so Whoopi plants the chain in the jaw of Jesse James.
match is still going on. Randy Hales is taking up to Jerry Wilson. Hold on, let's... Oh, Brandon Baxter taking the opportunity to put the chair three or four times across the head of Randy Hales. This is getting out of control. Brandon Baxter hitting Randy Hales over the head numerous times. Randy obviously coming out here to try to Restore the... Oh! oh. Come on, Mr. Policeman! Sorry, fans. It's gotten out of control over here at ringside. Tracy Smothers, the uh, all the security over here into the area. Brian Christopher, dangerous Doug Gilbert, struck me, knocked me to the ground. Now he's got Brian Christopher over here. Suspension. If you don't get them out of here, you cross the line. 